Twiggy, I, I've sort of had an odd week with her. I gave her Monday off because um, the clinic's going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I brought her in on Tuesday, and she was actually quite lame, but I couldn't really sort of pinpoint what was wrong, so I, I muted her, turned her back out. Next day, I brought her in, and she looked sort of like 90% better, which I was surprised about. And then Thursday I brought her in and she looked totally fine. So I hopped on her, had a quick little ride and she felt fine. So I talked to my coach and she said, uh, just give her another sort of ride, regular ride on Friday. And, and if everything goes well, we'll ride Saturday, Sunday in the clinic. So, but what we did in the morning on Friday, my coach was like, this would be super beneficial for you on Twiggy. So you should ride Twiggy on Friday. And she was fine. I got on her, we started warming up, and she sort of worked herself into a bit of a tizzy with, um, there are four, or, sorry, six horses in our group, and doing all of the warm-up stuff. It was sort of like, we're all in a line, two horse spaces, serpentining back and forth across the arena. And, uh, with her little thoroughbred brain, it was quite a lot for her to to take in so she sort of got a little worked up there and then we went to go do the jumping um she was a little bit uncomfortable and it was almost like she got a little bit colicky so I got off took her out um we didn't do I think we did, jumped like three things right when we first started jumping and I got off took her out she was like soaked with sweat but as soon as, as I got her in the cross ties she seemed to settle right down so I hosed her off put her in a stall and when I put her in the stall she started licking the feet tub and she peed and then she was totally fine so, so that was sort of interesting so on Saturday and Sunday I gave her omeprazole before a ride and that seemed to just really settle her and I think I'm going to buy some because that I think would really be a good thing if we're going into sort of any sort of high intensity high stress situation um, like if I'm going to other clinics or at events because she tends to get fairly wound up at events too and she's always been a little unsettled in her stomach, I've noticed. She does, uh, like, she curls her lip up if she's a little uncomfortable, does weird burping things. Um, and it, that's not totally uncommon for her, but combined with the sweating and she was starting to paw a little bit, I knew it wasn't quite, wasn't quite right for her on Friday. So I just sort of called it a day. Um, I didn't ride Hiroko on Saturday, but I rode Twiggy on Saturday and we did a uh, clover leaf exercise sort of a, a different take on what um, some of uh, an exercise that we do at our barn except much nicer because you get a hold up to aim for not just six feet of one so that was really good um, we started out Twiggy was a little bit excited to start but then we settled down and then by the end was having some nice smooth rounds and bending better more control so that was good and then today we set up quite a it was basically like grid lines a bunch of different grid lines and it was sort of like a three, like a triple to start one stride across, come across, and it was like a bounce, two strides and another bounce, and then we came around to sort of a long canter up to a, a vertical, and then another bending line we incorporated, and I was so happy with Twiggy today, she just got better and better and better. And our last, our last round, I was so thrilled with, it was smooth, and she was bending, it was awesome, we nailed her distances, I couldn't be happier. With her and this morning I rode Hiroko too and we did lots of stuff that was similar like that um, with a few, few few things differently but much smaller and he was a freaking rock star too he's still he's just coming five he's just baby stallion but he's so cool I like I always have a big smile on my face when I ride him he's so different from my horses he's more he's more uh, laid back he's a more rhythmic he just sort of lopes along sorts it out he's yeah the coolest young stallion ever and so that was a really good a really good thing for him because we haven't really done much for grids with him and he's definitely never done any bounces so so he took it all in stride like a good boy and I was really happy I really felt riding him first helped me ride Twiggy better um, when I rode her this afternoon so <laughs>
position, rhythm, staying with the horse no matter what, even if it's a bit short, a bit long. Um, and really, he works on, it's not dressage at all. One of his comments on the first day with my group was, nobody here is doing dressage, and I'm actually like, um, I'm, I need to do dressage. So, but it was really good. Like, he always wants you riding around ready to jump. So you've got your weight down into your stirrup, your balance, you've got your hands forward, press down into the neck, nice low hands, and then doing all your steering in your little box, he calls it, with hands together and low and just nice, quiet, gradual movements. Not big high hands or lots of moving around. He really wants you to ride more from your leg, and then the hands are just a guide, so. So all of that, combined with all the exercises he did with us, really, like, things really came together for me and Twiggy. And I was so, so happy with her. So I'm pretty excited about what's coming up in the next few weeks. Um, I was looking into... <laughs> Apparently we don't do too very well. Um, I was looking into doing a uh, dressage schooling day at one of the barns near here. Um, and that's not set in stone, but I'll be figuring it out hopefully this week whether we're going to do that or not. And yeah, it would be a really good thing to do, especially with California coming up. And then I'm also planning on going to uh, another local barn on the 11th and doing a schooling jump day there and taking a couple of students with me. And uh, it's a big, beautiful facility. They have lots of nice jumps and a really, really big arena. So it's a nice change from what we have at home. So it's a good place to go and sort of get out and about and school somewhere new over different jumps in a new facility. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. So that's... So that'll be really good as well. Um, I'm hoping to do one of the Spruce Meadows schooling weeks um, toward the end of February. And I feel like I was sort of waffling on whether I should do it or not, because I'm sort of trying to work out my budget stuff for California. But after today, I'm like super psyched and totally like, we could totally go and rock it if we rode like we rode today, which is really cool. I'm so happy because me and Twig haven't, we hadn't jumped much over the winter, and then sort of after Jessica Phoenix in December, we started getting back into it on a consistent basis, and just how far she's come, even in the past, like, three weeks is amazing. I'm so, so happy with her. <sighs> yeah, so I'm almost home, so I will probably do a little bit more of this at home, and then hopefully start editing and get this vlog up for you in a somewhat of a timely manner. All right, check back later. So one thing I wanted to show you guys, I had something funny happen. Something funny happened the other day. Um, we always joke that if when I'm at the barn, if I die at the barn, it's going to be on a Tuesday. Tuesday our farrier comes, and things always seem to happen on a Tuesday. So on this past Tuesday, um, one of the young horses we were trimming sort of had a, a little outburst and stomped on me real good and got me on foot quite hard, <laughs> I guess for lack of a better explanation. So um, I'll show you guys pictures. This happened on Tuesday. So I took a picture Tuesday when I got home and then Wednesday it actually started to look quite fantastic. And then Thursday and Friday it was pretty gross as well. And then just finally, Saturday, it finally started to feel better and the swelling went down. And amazingly, it didn't, it wasn't that painful. Like, it definitely, it definitely hurt when it happened. But aside from the swelling, which is a bit uncomfortable, I could still fit my riding boot and everything. I could still ride, I could still walk. The only thing that sort of bothered it was walking in the paddocks. We've had a whole ton of ice because it's been warm lately and just walking on the uneven footing, that was a little bit ouchy. So so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm totally fine. It's just, I think it looks way worse than it actually is. And I'll show you guys what it looks like today because I didn't take a picture. So hopefully this works. So <clears throat> there's my foot. So you can see the abrasion's still there. This bump I've always had, so don't worry about that. 
I've still got some bruising on my toes, even though he didn't step on my toes. It's, it's interesting how it's moved around. And then on the side of my foot, you can still see I've got that bruising that's still... He didn't step on the side of my foot. He basically stepped square right on this part. But it was very interesting how it all looked afterwards. So, yeah. Thought I'd share that with you guys, since shit always happens to me, so. So it's Monday, and this is pretty much going to wrap up my vlog for this week. I've got a bit more time this week. My schedule is not so busy at the barn, um, now that things are going to be a little bit quiet after the clinic. So I'm going to hopefully use some of this extra time I have and get some helmet cams and uh, clinic footage uploaded from the past few things I've done. Um, I haven't really had time to put my regular helmet cams on like I, I had been before but so that should be some of that should be coming out this week and then another thing I was thinking of doing is um, either go on YouTube live or maybe on Instagram live I haven't decided yet um, sometime this weekend so that might be kind of fun I was thinking I'd do sort of a, a Q&A or something like that um, so if that's something you'd like to see let me know leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel and we'll see y'all next time.